Hey guys, it's JP, and this time we are going to talk about using the patellar tendon better to help you run faster. This is a layer on top of last week's video on strengthening the patellar tendon. While it is important to build and strengthen your tendons, it is also important to learn how to use them better for running. However, first you have to understand how the patellar tendon is used as you run. As I mentioned before, as you run, the tendons are involved with energy storage and release to help you absorb and generate large amounts of force. Incorporating exercises that require the patellar tendon to work in a similar manner may be helpful to repair and improve performance when you run. Now that we covered that, let's briefly go over some exercises that involve these kinds of demands on the patellar tendon. One simple exercise you can incorporate is a single leg jump. The point here is to focus on trying to jump as if you are trying to touch the ceiling. This focuses on utilizing the patellar tendon in a way that involves energy storage and release. Now, if you need to, you can start with doing this on two legs, but eventually, it may be a good idea to try incorporating the one leg variation, especially as a runner. This might better prepare you for running because you are only on up to one leg at a time as you run. Now the next exercise we will go over is the split squat jumps. This is more of a plyometric exercise that involves more repeated and quicker bouts of movement compared to the last exercise. This is important to keep in mind as regardless of whether you are a marathon runner or a sprinter, running involves quick stretch shortening cycles. Incorporating quicker types of movement may be beneficial when trying to improve your running performance. The third exercise I will show you guys is the Bulgarian split squat hop. Similar to the last one, this focuses more on the patellar tendon with quick, repeated bouts of movement. However, the big difference here is that you are pretty much doing all the work on one leg. And those are some exercises you can try. Just remember that this is for educational purposes only. If you have persistent pain in the region, you should consult a healthcare professional for a proper assessment. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well as any questions you may have. And as always, thank you for watching.